Hello friends, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to talk about how to interpolate strings in C sharp. I'll explain what string interpolations are and how we can use it in a program. I also discussed about constant interpolated strings and much more. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. A string interpolation C sharp 6.0 and F. A string interpolation was introduced in C sharp 6.0 and available in ever version F. Okay, so what is a string interpolation? A string interpolation is the way by which we can evaluate a string literal containing one or more placeholder that are replaced with their corresponding values. It provides a more readable, convenient syntax to format a string. What does it mean is, whenever we want to format a string using interpolation, we put placeholder in between the string literal where we are intended to replace the corresponding values at runtime. So that's the string interval. Okay, let's understand it with the help of example. So here, let's suppose we have two string variable, name and channel name, and we want to get the formatted string. We use here a string interval. Okay, so here we are going to interpret the string. So how we are going to do that? First, we write the dollar sign, which is a special character that gives hints to compiler that we are going to interpolate the strings then immediately we need to write opening and closing double quotation mark and in between we write a string literals in a string literals we can have one or more placeholder here in our example we have two placeholders name and channel name at runtime it would get replaced with the corresponding values in our case name would get replaced with ravi and channel name with replace with learn and joy. So final formatted string would be hello Ravi, welcome to learn and joy and exclamation mark. So now we understood how to interpolate strings in C sharp. Before C sharp 6.0, we used to achieve the same functionality using a string dot format method. So here we write where formatted a string a string dot format hello zero one zero welcome to one name and channel name. So here we have used positional placeholders 0 and 1 and those value would get replaced with the name and channel name variable at the runtime. So this approach was the not the memory efficient one. That's why C sub creator introduced a string interpolation concept in C sub. So now we are just going to discuss benefit associated with the string interpolation. It's a more readable, it offers convenient syntax and above all, it's faster and more memory efficient. Performance comparison string dot format versus a string interpolation. So here I'm going to show you performance comparison between a string dot format method versus a string interpolation. For that, I wrote one small program over here. If you notice, there is a class performance comparison. And I have marked this class with memory diagnosure attribute. Okay. And in this class, we have two variables, current date time and the name attribute. Right? And there are two methods: format a string method and format a string using interpolation method. In format string method, I have used a string dot format method. In format string using interpolation, I have applied this string interpolation concept, right? That starts with the dollar sign. And if you notice, in these two methods, I have used benchmark attribute, right? So basically, these attribute help us to figure it out how much memory these two methods took it and other details as well. So these attributes are from benchmark.net library that is easily available on the NuGet pack. Once we download it, we can integrate in our application and then we can use it. And that's what we have used those things. Okay, if you see the output, what the output it is going to come over here, a string dot format, it will just print hello Ravi, it is a Sunday today. Current time is 13 59 now, right? Similarly for the second statement. So these two uh, method is giving the same output, right? But I'm not interested what the output it is giving over here. I'm interested how much memory it is just going to get consumed against these two methods, right? So that's what I have written benchmark runner dot run method and I have passed this performance comparison. This is the class name. So it will give this summary output. And if you see the output over here, it just shows that we have these two methods, format a string method and the format a string using interpolation, right? Why these two methods got selected only? Because we have marked these two methods with the benchmark attribute. So these methods got selected. 
against these methods how much i mean mean error standard deviation generation zero allocated right so those information it is just depicted against these two methods if you notice mean 300.9 nanosecond here for this method 192.9 nanosecond error 5.98 nanosecond 3.419 nanosecond standard deviation 6.40 nanosecond 3.03 .03 nanosecond right and generation 0 0 0.0610 here 0 0.0534 and allocated space is 192B and 168B, right? So here mean is nothing but the arithmetic mean of the all measurement. Error. Error depicts here the half of the 99% of the confidence intervals, right? So here it takes 5.9.8 second, here 3.1, 3.41 nanosecond, right? A standard deviation, it is taking 6.40 nanosecond. A standard deviation, it is also for the all these measurements and give the final outcome. 6.40 nanosecond for this method. And here 3.03 nanosecond only. You are seeing the performance improvement when we are using this string interpolation. That's what I just wanted to show you. Okay, let me execute this program in Visual Studio and see the outcome. Okay, so here we are on Visual Studio. So this is the console application where we have class performance comparison class of this main method. We have two methods, but a string method and the format a string using interval. This is the same example that we have discussed just now right so here we have implemented this string interpolation concept here we have used this string dot format okay and here if you notice benchmark attribute we have you know associated with these two methods right and this class we have marked with this memory diagnoser so basically these attributes are coming from action explorer if i go the packages so this is the packages i have downloaded from nuget package benchmark.net version is 0.13.1 right so once we have added those things so here we have added these two name spaces so that's what we are going to use it into this application memory diagnosis and this benchmark attribute that we have marked this at the class level this one and this is for the method level because benchmark this is the benchmark method that we are going to target right so that our diagnosis tool will give the information related to these methods only okay and if you see this main method i just wanted to show you the output is coming from these two methods the same so first i have instantiated this class performance comparison class and i have just called this format a string method and then format a string using interpolation method okay these two methods i have called and printed into this console window and then i have executed the run method using this benchmark dot run benchmark runner dot run and then we have passed this performance comparison because this is the class basically we are going to target for this mem memory diagnosis and in this class only we have these two methods right okay so let me execute this okay so now this is the two output uh, console right the first method it gave this one the second method it gave, gave this one and now the diagnosis tool it's just going to capture all those you know information about these two methods about the memory details standard deviation and all so it just started executing it will take some time but yeah we just need to see the final outcome okay so right now it's running is going just going to execute for these two methods number right so it gave me the final outcome over here right if you see this these two method format a string and the format a string using interpolation these two methods because we have marked as the benchmark attribute and that's what this method got captured and this is the mean error standard deviation generation zero allocated you see the formatted string it took you know 1113.8 nanosecond error 27.04 nanosecond this is 79.73 nanosecond zero 0.0610 generation zero allocated 192 right but if you see this format string using interpolation it took 673.3 nanosecond only. here error 13.09 nanosecond only. standard deviation 25.53 nanosecond only. generation zero 0 0.0534 here memory allocated 168 bo right so this clearly depicts us this when we are going to use interpolate the uh, strings it is faster it is the memory efficient constant interpolated string c sub 10 and
in csup 9 or earlier version if we want to merge constant strings together we had the option to use concatenation and not the inter another way was to remove the const keyword and just use the string variable and not the const string variable so these difficulties got removed in the csup 10 with the help of constant constant interpolated string so if you see here csup 9.0 in earlier version let's suppose we have two constant string name and channel name right and we want to get the message in this format to use this you know constant string name and channel name so we can achieve using this plus operator the plus indicates basically we are going to use the concatenation so if we try to use constant interpolated string in 9.0 and earlier version we will be getting error feature constant interpolated string is not available in c of 7.3 please use language version 10.0 or greater right so that was introduced in csap 10 so that's what it's not available in the earlier version so if you if you write the same thing here we can use the string interpolation now here we are going to use a string interpolation which is of type of constant string and we are able to do successfully so in earlier version it was not possible but in csap 10.0 it got introduced and it is possible and that's what if you see the output hello ravi welcome to learn and enjoy right the same output we were getting in the earlier version also with the help of concatenation right the same output here in csap 10.0 and ever we are going to use the same output using this constant interpolated string important points about a string interpolation in csap so here we will be discussing about the important points related to a string interpolation in csap okay the first point is when we use a string interpolation we write dollar then immediately double quotation should come and there should be no space in between otherwise there would be a compile time error see the example here we have written dollar and then we gave the space in between and then we have written the double quotation inside that we have given this string literal so it will give the compile time error right because there is a space between dollar sign and the double quotation mark so a space should not be there we need to keep it in mind the correct format is dollar immediately double quotation mark and then a string literal that is the correct way of writing a string interpolation is available in csap 6.0 and ever version if you try to use it in the previous version of csap then it will be not available and it will give the compile time error. okay so we need to keep in mind whenever we are going to use a string interpolation we need to use in C csap 6.0 and ever version okay that is very very important constant string interpolation is available in csap 10 and ever because it was introduced in csap 10 only so if we try to use it in the earlier version we will be getting the compile time error okay string interpolation in csap makes our code more readable faster and more memory efficient we have already seen we have written one a sample program where we captured the memory consumption and all those standard deviation details right and we have seen that whenever we are going to use a string interpolation right so it is the memory efficient it 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 offers you know a convenient code to write and it's more faster right okay now real time users of the constant string interpolation in csap we have seen in csap 10.0 and ever we can use the constant string interpolation but what is the real time users okay let's suppose if you going to work with paths right for example if you have given the constant string str root path src root and we just need to write full path where we are going to use this str root path then we can use this string interpolation and then we can write str root path in, as a placeholder so it is possible only because constant string interpolation came into existence in c sharp 10 and we can use it in paths whenever we are going to work so it is very very convenient okay second uses is in in attribute arguments whenever we are going to work with the attribute arguments we can use this constant string interpolation for example if you want to flag a method with the absolute attribute so let's suppose this is there are two properties old property and the new property in old property we just mark it as a absolute and then we just want to inform user also okay this property has been obsolete just go and use the new one so if you see here i have written obsolete and then we have written 
dollar mark and we have given the string letter and here inside that we have given the name of the new property so that is the use of you know this constant string interpolation right this new property is nothing but our new property so it is giving the hint to user this old property is ha has been obsolete just go and use the new one so that is the huge case where we can apply this constant string interpolation concept now that brings me to end of my session to sum up in this video we saw what string interpolations are we also saw interpolated string in c sharp we discussed and witnessed how a string interpolation improved the memory consumption we talked about the constant string interpolation that was introduced in c sharp 10 and its real time uses like in path definition and attribute arguments etc that's all for this video guys if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already thanks for watching see you next video